So I want to do a quick video reviewing and doing a demo on this new e.l.f. Jelly Pop Flush Blush. They did come, I believe, in two different colors, but I picked up the color Peach Pop. You get 0.44 ounces. This is cruelty-free and vegan. I also did review the Jelly Pop Water Gel Moisturizer, if you're interested in watching that. This is in Peach Pop because I'm obsessed with peach. You have more things like from their collection. The um, Sickle Pop Face and Eye Gloss will be for another video. So it's red. Of course, this is why the collection was like screaming at me because I love red. I a whole video of like a full face of only e.l.f. makeup. I also have the primer reviewed just in case if you love e.l.f. Let's look at this. It's a nice little container. just has the red top and it says e.l.f. Jelly Pop Flush Blush. I do have a full face on except highlighter and blush. Ooh, look at that consistency. Can you see? This is the color, and look at that, super jelly. This retails for $6, so the two colors they have is this one, which is the peach pop, and you also get a berry pop. It says this has argan oil, vitamin E, and castor oil, just keep that in mind. It says your crush isn't the only thing that should make you blush. This unique jelly textured blush seamlessly melts into the cheeks for a sheer wash of color and sheen without the stickiness. That's very important. We will see how it feels. I don't want to feel sticky. Infused with hydrating watermelon. Ooh, you can totally smell it. It's good. Let's see? It looks really, really, really pigmented. Let's do a swatch. Wow. That is really pigmented. Look how pretty. It doesn't look like it has any shimmer or glitters whatsoever. I'm just trying to like really blend it out so you can see what it would look like without any makeup on. I am going to use a small amount because you never know. It could be really intense. Just apply, I guess, like this. I think I need some more. Alright, so just taking an amount like that. I remember I do have powder and everything on already, so I don't even know how are you supposed to blend this properly. Actually looking really nice. I'm trying to go like in circular motions. It doesn't look too intense. It's actually a really pretty color. I wouldn't say it's super peachy like, but it's a nice color. Of course, you can intensify this as much as you like. But look at that. That looks like whoa. So, seeing you have to work quickly with this because it will dry pretty quickly. So, and you do get like a glow. As you see, it looks like I had highlighter. So, keep that in mind. I'm just trying to put a nice amount so you can actually see it on camera. Like in person, it looks a bit intense. But I want you to be able to see it. Reminds me of like the jelly highlighter from Farsali, which I did review. Oh, I didn't put some in my nose. I always put some blush on my nose. It says like, oh my god, my favorite. Let me try to touch it. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's sticky. It's pretty dry right now. This is how the swatch looks, but this is really intense. I got a, a big amount here see like the shine to it i think it would look so nice like without makeup too and just put like a flush because you get a nice glow i have a lot of reviews drugstore and high end if you're interested in that please don't forget to subscribe click the little notification bell that way you will be the first to get notified every time i post a new video thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye